after decades of automation being around, still only 20% of processes across the businesses are automated. The key question is, why is that? And what is it that we have to do to help accelerate the adoption of automation across the enterprise? Let's take a look. Hi, my name is Kay Van Schernia. I head the managed service business at Fusion, where we help organizations gain the critical capabilities they need to accelerate their digital transformation programs. Today, I want to explore a question with you guys. We've had automation technology available for 20 plus years. So why is it that only 20% of business processes are actually automated? Let's take a look. The automation landscape across organization is a long scale, which can be divided into these categories. The first are workflows that are built into applications such as CRM, HR applications, finance applications, and so on. The aim is to automate processes within the confines of that application stack. But clearly, processes span across different business units and silos, so we then need to be able to integrate these types of workflows with the surrounding world. The third category is what is referred to as Integrated Business Process Management Systems, or IBPMS for short. These platforms offer a faster, more agile development environment while continuing to focus on enterprise-wide process discovery, visualizations, and monitoring. IBPMS is essentially a combination of low-code application development and integration platform and process workflows all in one single package. The thing is that as you move from left to right, you can see some heavy duty process re-engineering work that needs to be carried out in order to adopt these automation technologies within the business processes. So in other words, what we're saying is that as you move from left to right, you have to spend more money on the program and the amount of time that it takes to deliver the automation capabilities are a little bit further out. So ultimately, it really comes down to a cost-benefit analysis, and that is exactly where automation starts to grind to a halt in the organizations. The more complex and involved these end-to-end -end processes are, the harder it is to re-engineer them completely, and therefore, it dilutes the value that one could get from automation. But, there is a new kid on the block, well, kid, a big old teenager on the block, called Robotic Process Automation, often referred to as RPA, provides a platform to automate human tasks for applications that don't have an integration interface, such as copying information from one application and pasting it into another. RPA platforms use multiple techniques, including operating system APIs, optical character recognition, image recognition, and so on. So in a way, RPA is actually used as a plaster to fix some of those big problems in the back end that the heavy duty re-engineering work that we just talked about do not really apply and they're not efficient. But RPA is not a panacea. For instance, how do you decide on priorities for automation? Or how do you measure outcomes? After all, these are the key elements in establishing a viable business case that can then further advance the adoption of automation within organizations. And this is where our unique rapid task automation solution comes into play. Delivered as a service, rapid task automation uses our unique AI technology to analyze the underlying data and identify the best candidates for automation. And since many IT organizations have a common set of processes, we have built pre-packaged automation bots using the market-leading RPA technology from Automation Anywhere to dramatically accelerate the adoption of automation for organizations. And on top of this, we continue to use our AI technology on a quarterly basis, we'll be analyzing how the automations in the previous quarter have improved the performance of the business and what value has been delivered through automation. 
but also identifying the next set of automation candidates that can be passed on to the automation centers of excellence within the organization to go and deploy further automation bots. I hope that was of some use. In the next video, we will be looking at application of automation in the service management space. In the meantime, if you have any questions, please do contact me and also follow the link below to download our white paper. Till then, goodbye. Right, time for this biscuit.